All right, here we're going to be converting 28.6 liters into quarts. And um, if you're using, again, the computerized uh, math systems of some sort, um, it's probably going to give you a conversion factor. In this case, it will tell you to use the conversion factor that one liter is approximately 1.06 quarts. Now, luckily, this is the one that you're supposed to know also for capacity. So remember, you had those three that you're supposed to know um, no matter what. So this one is the one you're supposed to know. So this is going to make this very lovely. We're going to start out here with 28.6 liters, always putting what we have over one, times. Now, we don't want liters, so we're going to put that on bottom and we're going to convert it over to quarts. Our conversion factor is 1 liter is equivalent to 1.06 quarts. So now our liters will cancel, and when we do the multiplication, rounded to one decimal point, that's going to be 30.3 quarts. And there's not another way to do that because we were using our standard conversion factor for that. Now, I, we have this word problem, but I'm going to skip that one for now, and I'm going to go down here to this one because, again, this one's going to be a very short problem, so I want to go ahead and get it done with um, right now. This one says the smallest pet fish are dwarf gobies, uh, which are half an inch long. So what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to take and convert this half inch over to centimeters. That's because we want to know how long these fish are in centimeters. So basically our problem is if we've got one half inch long fish, we want to know how many centimeters that would be. Okay, well, we have a conversion factor between inches and centimeters that we should know, and that is that one inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. So we're going to use that to set up our problem. Starting off with a half an inch, I'm going to convert that over to 0.5, make it a little bit easier. So 0.5 inches over 1 times. Now we're going to get rid of the inch by placing it in the opposite position and centimeters on top. And we know that the conversion factor is 1 inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. Now our inches will cancel top and bottom and we're left with centimeters, which is what we want. So 0.5 times 2.54 is 1.27, and rounded to one decimal place, that would be about 1.3 centimeters. So a half an inch is roughly equivalent to 1.3 centimeters.